Hey. I don't know who's out there. Most people are not on at the moment. I know the timing's not good. But it's, you know, I finished the meditation. And I noticed there's a lot of dark, dense energy. It's being transmuted at the moment, and a lot of people are feeling it. It's coming into their consciousness, into their energy field, uh, whether it's coming in lucid, uh, bad dreams, scary dreams, energies, emotions, um, any other form. There's a lot of dark, dense energy being, you know, that's been brought up, it's being tra transmuted. So people are feeling. Either they're feeling negative energies, negative entities, uh, they're feeling like they're being attacked, all kinds of things. But this is mainly energies um, that you haven't, uh, and people are saying they're angry, they're crying, they're this, they're that. This is stuff that you have to transmute and release. And most people are not sure why, what it is, and we know how to release it. So if you're having any dig, you know, you're feeling really angry, depressed, negative emotions, you've got to get those things out, you've got to release them, and you hopefully, if it's a lesson you haven't learned, you've got to know why, what it is there. Okay, what triggered you? Why is that? In, it's going to keep coming until you learn, if you don't release it. So you need to know what it is you need to release if you're upset, hurt, angry, for, you know, these things, tearful. What is it that you've been hanging on to? That doesn't serve you because this is what it's all about right now. It's about us releasing all dark, dense energy, emotions, things that don't serve us. So this is very, like I warn people, this is very much about um, in personal progress. To be the better version of you. Right? So it's going to be targeting you where you need to clear, release things. Whether it's family, whether it's friends, whether it's relationships, whether it's you know energy you, you've you have hung on to that you shouldn't have it doesn't matter it, it could be in any kinds of ways and things right manifest so many things and i noticed hi hello everybody so yes you can do many things so those you can do at help at night there's many ways so i sat in meditation now because i felt it last night and i tapped another oh okay and some came up interesting in in a dream last night so i said okay they're going to give me a message as well you know and some dreams came up but that's interesting but what we also miss sometimes we misinterpret what we are seeing because we think it's literal so you often <laughs> you often think it's literal okay the energies and things that you are seeing whatever it comes in your dream say you say you dream of a vampire it doesn't mean it's a vampire people have got this idea you see this is it's a linear mind right it means you are giving something's draining your energy something sucking your life force energy from you trying to get your attention what is it where in your life are you giving away your power your control your energy all right so i sat this morning to do a healing and clearing and center so you need to clear your energy so it's my intent to cleanse and clear all dark dense negative energies this and that you know um, so you can restore because when you this is dropping you all in frequency and vibration at the moment right when you're busy now transmuting this you hold you've got dark dense energy that's coming up you're working with it's going to drop your frequency and vibration and light because you're holding that energy it's come up for you to clear but the good part is we get to get through this because in order for us to raise in light, we need to clear what's ever been coming up in you or as a collective for us to transmute. We need to clear that energy. That means you will get a boost in light when this is finished, when you have done it. You will go up in light, frequency and vibration. And we're going to, we're all going to. This is why there's a big push, as I told you. It's a surge of this energy. It's going to be transmuted by yourselves, whatever's in your collective, in your history or cash, whatever you haven't let go of, learned, healed, released, done your, you know, inner work, your shadow work, right? This is going to boost us and we all, you're going to see it this year, besides a big jump in people awakening. Now, don't always think, people always think everything awakening is going to be on a spiritual level. It's not going to be, oh my gosh, they're going to go on the spiritual path. Some won't. Their consciousness will raise. Their perception and things, and there may be more love, more. That doesn't mean they're going to be, oh my gosh, um, they don't have to turn to source or to religion or to God, say, oh, you know, whatever. That's what people think. People think, no, not everyone has, you don't have to. 
it's nothing to do. We are going to, they will raise in that, they will also maybe get more sensitive, more emotion, more love, more peace, more all of these things. There's anger. But it's not going to, they don't have to go to the religious path or to source or to, you know what I mean? Not necessarily, they don't need to. But they will do that. Uh, pretty much <laughs> close. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So there's a lot. And it's coming in in many ways, dreams, scary things, people feeling pressure, this and that. This is what it is. We need to transmit it. You need to let it go. So I sat. First thing I did, um, you can sage. So what you can do as well for yourself is sage your house or your room. Wherever you're meditating, your space, sage it. Smoke the hell out of it. Let the air out. Let some air flow through. Tai Chi, because you've got to release it in the body as well. The energy. We need to understand we've got to move energy in the physical vessel. Where there's any stuck, uh, blocked, stagnant energy, it's going to sit in there. All right? You need to move it. So what I will do, I'll also share on my YouTube page, when I finish this video, I'll upload it to YouTube, because most people aren't online at the moment, so they can watch. And I'll also reshare um, a Qigong one that I shared a while ago, to purge and tonify the energy in the body. So this is releasing all dark, dense, negative energies in the physical vessel. Okay, and then you can circulate it. So you need to purge and tonify. You need to release that. As people forget as well, you, the energy has got to move freely through the body. Right, so you can do it visually through the meridians, all the meridians, you open them up, make sure there's no stuck energy. You've got to do that consciously. You can do that, all right. So open up, release, make sure all the energy is moving freely through the body. Do this with meditation and intent. So all your meridians, your chakras are all open, cleared. Okay, balance and align all your energies. You can also do this with qigong as well. It helps, even if you do it daily now. All right, to release that. Yes. But some, see, but how we interpret the dream. Because that's it coming through a falter. So the more shadow work you've done and stuff, the less you're going to interpret it as, oh, you're just, and it's a metaphor. They're trying to get your attention. So where are you seeping that energy away, giving it away? All right. So it is, is a lot of it people are. They, it's you. It always comes back to you we don't realize. All right. Because you have the power in your consciousness. All right. So we're either giving it away or we're believing in our fears or whatever we have, whatever. We have negative, dark, dense thoughts, you know, because what you're thinking of, you're drawing it, you're putting energy towards it, and you're manifesting it, you're fearing things, you whatever's going on in your life, I don't know. All right, so, bit of advice. <clears throat> you, there's many ways you can do this. And I'm going to see, I've got a friend as a healer as well. And I've contacted her. She doesn't have enough followers on TikTok to do a live with me. So we can do a live general clearing and healing and a thing for everybody um, as well. But anyway, let's see. If she's able to do it today or tomorrow, I will try and do a live stream to YouTube with her. And then people can follow that because it, remember, there's no such thing as time. So whenever you see this, that same energy and intent is there. All you have to do is allow it in and tap. And you can do that video, that healing, whatever you want then. Because there isn't such a thing as time. Everything happens now. So when you decide to do it and watch that video, the same healing, the same energy is there for you. All right. Whether it's in your now or you might be two years down the line watching it. Okay. It's still in the now. Depending on when you... You know, tapping into that. Yeah, there's a lot of it. People having nightmares, dreams, energy attacks. This is what it is. Okay, so what, what came through to me as a collective, as humanity, what you can do and what we are doing, right? And this is a, it's a shortcut for you. All right? You've also got to try and see, as I say, tap in. Ask what it is. There's something specific they're trying to get your attention to. If you got triggered and hurt, you've got to figure out what it is. Where does that hurt, pain, nonsense come from? You need to release anger, fear, hurt, guilt. It normally comes back to fear, hurt. Okay, those are things. They're all in there somewhere. All right, so I sat down. What you can do, as I said, sage your place, all right? And if you want to also, say you've had dark, dense energy, you've had an interaction, bad, say bad day, a fight, whatever else you do, to get rid of that energy, bath, shower. Because remember, you're electromagnetic beings. 
So to, to break that energy field, that salt, swim, swim in the water, swim in the ocean, swim, bath, shower, things. Water won't, it'll break that, that energy connection. Okay, the water. All right, so break it. You can do that with shower. Get your, change your clothes and shower. There you've removed that energy from you. All right. You can sage your place. Those are two things. Had a bad day, please shower, bath before you go to bed then. Clear that energy from you. All right, sage. For those that are in the early stages and having a problem and not haven't claimed your power yet, if you are having bad things and you're not, you haven't got that confidence yet, if you haven't increased the light or whatever and done enough shadow work, you can call in for you, okay, your, your higher self, your team, your guides, your, the archangels that you feel comfortable with, source, wherever, and ask them to put protective shield bubble around you while you sleep to protect you and your house, whatever, okay. Protect you from any dark, dense, negative energy, frequency, vibration, thoughts, consciousness, da 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 All right. Allow nothing in. All right, negative, dark, dense, whatever. So that's that will give you some peace of mind and rest. Ask them for the, to protect you. Put this energy of pure love and light around you, and and you know, put a lovely energy ball or shield around you and keep you while you sleep. That will help you. All right. But you need to remove anyway. If you've been out of negativity energy around you, you can take the clothes off as I said. Helps shower bath that. Sage your place. Yeah, you can do that as well. All right, now your meditation. Those of you doing a meditation, yes, yeah, something that might jump you up and help you. I don't know where you are. So I sat because I had some dreams. I think, okay, that's interesting. Who's, who's siphoning off? Because we allow it. Remember, this is where people aren't thinking. You have allowed it somewhere. You are allowing this dark, dense energy in, whether it's thoughts, beliefs, fears, or you haven't let, closed the door. You're allowing someone to suck, to drain your energy because you're giving attention, sympathy, or whatever. You haven't you know, removed, you know, you set your boundaries or whatever it is. So you are somehow leaking, allowing this. You see? All right. So sit down. I'm going to give you many ways to do it. Sit down. Now you want to start your, the best way to start your meditation is by thank you first because that will raise you. Okay? So you're going to thank Source for the healing, because you're going to get it, you have the path, for the healing, for the love, for the help, for the guide, divine guidance, for the protection, you know, for all that is, for everything. So say your thing and say your thank you. All right, then you're going to intend and ask. Now you can, if you want, depending on where you are, call in, as you say, you know, it's up to you where you are. You want to put protection around you, you need to, but so remember what you put, you often block things. So you've got to be careful when you put it around you with your intention. All right, if you're worried. You only call in for your highest and greatest good. So you call in, if you want, assistance. If you feel you need any sort of assistance, it makes you feel confident or safer. You can call in source, call in any archangels you want or whatever you want, okay? And now you're going to ask them to assist you Right, to cleanse and clear all your energies, frequency and vibration. You're going to completely cleanse and clear all of it. This means your consciousness, your mind, okay, mind, thoughts. So it's work, work as though you want to do it from soul, soul, spirit, mind, body, the whole thing. You want to cleanse and clear it. Okay, so that's your auric field, the body, the mind, spirit, the whole lot you want to cleanse. Right, so that's your intention you're going to set. So first, before you start, let's work on cleansing and clearing all dark, dense energy. Okay, frequencies, vibrations, thoughts, consciousness, da, 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 from everything, right? There we are. So you ask for that. Now, as I say, you can decide if you need help, if you think, believe you do. There we are. What you can do is you've got to intentionally do this and scan. So you can call in light, pure, pure light. I sometimes, like I did one already before, you can see it on my YouTube, where you can start with breathing. And so that's why it's also good if you, it is good, please, if you go and walk first, depending on what's, where you are, if you need to, you know, clear, cleanse, do that qigong to purge and tonify and to just start, go for a walk, if you've, you know, you've got to be in that energy thing. So it does help if you're having a bad time, go walk, sit in nature, something like that, bring up your energies, walk, get some exercise, breathing, Start your meditation, sit down, okay? You can start with breathing and intention. So you can call in that light, call in help, as I said, if it's up to you. Now, you're gonna visualize, okay? 
you're pulling in light from the divine source pure benevolent light love energy and frequency and vibration from the creative source all right to cleanse and clear mind soul body spirit completely of any dark dense energy frequencies vibrations consciousness thoughts all right throughout all time continuum dimensions and consciousness there we are so that's making sure that you are clearing it okay depending on where you are your level of consciousness your frequency dimension all right you want to clear so bring it bring it in it cleans a lot all right so anything any dark dense negative energy frequency and vibration gone so you sit and you're going to work on it and you're going to visualize it and you're going to see this energy coming in you're going to work through see with any any in your any stuck in your vessel scan to see any dark dense energy what it is where it comes from why it's there you're going to see it you're going to ask for it to be you're going to remove it and you're going to be and you're going to clear it and you're going to work through this whole vessel and bring in light to your crown right down to the entire vessel it's almost like think of it as a as a scan of light. It's going to be coming through you, a wave of light, and it's going to scan, like you would a, a scan would, right? You see how it goes down like this, and you're going to bring it straight through you. And you're going to cleanse and clear all dark, dense energy, frequency, and vibration completely. Remove it. So it's like flushing it out. Now, whether you ask the water then, and you want to purify it. Now, what I have discovered as well as what i see what this is what i was what came to me that i asked for what i can give to people and tell them what it is we are doing is we got to take back because people haven't realized now your intention and you're going to sit there once you've done this and you you are completely tapped in you're going to pull back because you have given away your power everywhere where you have given away your power whether it's to anything okay you're going to take back all the power you have given away. All right. All of it. So you are going to now claim, I now take back all power that I have given away. And feel it coming in. Pull back. You are claiming back whether you gave it to someone, whether you gave it to an emotion, feeling, being, energy, a person, it doesn't matter. You are claiming, I now call back and claim back all, take back all power I gave away, consciously or unconsciously. Pull it back. You need to do that because you have given your power away, whether it's in, you know, submissive, you haven't spoken up, whatever it is. You need to take back your power. Claim back your power as a being of source. Okay. So don't give it away to your boss, to anybody else. Stand in your power. So now you consciously, and you are claiming it, not like, please give it back. I hereby claim, take back, and you're pulling it back. You're seeing it coming in through all dimensions, time, space, continuum. You're pulling back your power. Pull it back and feel it. You're pulling it back. I hereby take back all power that I have given away, consciously or unconsciously. I hereby reclaim and recall and take back all my power. Okay, and you're going to pull it back until you feel, you'll know, just keep pulling it in, pulling it in, till you feel, okay, you'll know, you'll, you'll know innately that it's, it's, it's back. All right, there we are. One. Okay, you've claimed back your power. Now you're going to take back all light. Because sometimes we have allowed others to siphon off your light, or they are, and maybe knowingly or unknowingly. You are now going to reclaim all your light, okay? That anyone's taken from you, that you gave away consciously or unconsciously. All right. Or whatever, people that you're allowing people to drain your light, your energy from you, like, like as I say, like vampiric. They're siphoning your energy, but that's you. Because you've allowed, okay, you have, you've got this thing, you haven't broken that, you've got to set your boundaries. So now you're going to claim back all your light. I hereby claim back all my light that I have given away, consciously high or unconsciously. Pull back your light. 
See all your light returning, your life force, your energy, your chi, your light, you're returning to you. So you're restoring all the light that's been taken from you, that you gave away. Okay, whether it's to your parents, whatever nonsense in the past, whatever, you are bringing it back. Okay, so claim back your light, pull it in, all your light. And when you failed, you've claimed back all the light that you've given away through all time, space, continuum, dimensions, whatever. To whoever, whatever, does it relevant, okay? Pull it back. Now you're going to purify that. Because now you've brought back, you've claimed back all the energy you gave to someone. Where you got upset, you felt sorry for them, you gave them your, you gave your energy, you took on other people's nonsense, you don't want it. All right? So now purify all that energy and light you've taken back. So from pure source, light, energy, divine, divine, benevolent, pure source, light, and energy. To completely saturate this being, this body, this manifestation, this vessel, this energy, frequency, and vibration. You are now pulling in pure source, light, energy from the pure divine source of pure benevolence, infinite light, and infinite love. You are pulling in that energy. And completely ask them to completely purify your energy and light. Absolutely cleanse and purify it from any dark, dense energy, frequency, and vibrations, consciousness, thoughts, emotions. Purify the lot. And now completely fill your energy, your, saturate your energy, frequency, vibration, consciousness, being, whatever you want to say, cover the lot with pure source light. Energy, frequency, and vibration. Absolute pure light, pure love. Absolute benevolent light from the pure creative source, right? Now you're restoring your energies. You're cleansing it. You're clearing it. All right? You're going to boost. And now you will also not allow anything in the, to take to lower your frequency, vibration, and light. That's your intention. Okay, so you've taken back all that shit you've given away yourself, power, fear, whatever, however you gave it away, letting people, you're siphoning it off. Pull back your light, pull back your energy that you've given away. You've now cleansed and purified. Now you're going to set an intent. Raise your frequency and vibration, all right, to the highest light frequency and vibration of the divine, benevolent, light source creator, all right? Permeate your energy field with that divine light, energy, frequency, vibration. Pure light, pure love, pure benevolence. Absolutely pure. Raise your frequency and vibration. And you now set an intent. I do not give permission. All right. For any energy, consciousness, frequency or vibration to take any of my light, my energy, my frequency and vibration. You give no permission for anything to enter that will lower your frequency and vibration. Okay. Light or consciousness. So allow nothing in. I give no nothing permission to enter my energy field, consciousness, frequency, vibration that will lower my energy, frequency, vibration, light or consciousness. All right, those are uh, those are things you so it covers a broad a broad spectrum. All right, we have to take back your power that you have given away. You are allowing, you know. Okay, well, I'm, you know, so you know, that's being siphoned from you. All right, there we are. That should restore your frequency, vibration, and light. But you, as so if there is something there that you haven't worked through and let go of, you need to release that. Okay, it could be individual energy, shadow, whatever you haven't released. Okay, so that will clear anything that you have allowed to attach to you, not ever, you know, energies, things, whatever you've taken on other people's pain, suffering. Okay, give it back. It's not your energy. Any energy that you have taken, this is what people forget to do from others, give it back. There's another thing you can do and you set in your intention and meditation or pray. You are going to give back all energy that I've taken from anybody else. Okay, any other being, person, consciousness, human, whatever. You're going to give it back. 
It wasn't mine to take. So energy you have taken on from others, it wasn't yours to take. Their pain, their loss, their suffering, their grief, their anger, their whatever nonsense, their projection onto you, because you do, oh my gosh, you're taking it on. You take it on. People wonder why they got lower things. You take it on. Someone upsets you. Oh my gosh, you know, they were there. They were nasty. They were horrible to me. Why? No, they cannot upset you if you do not allow the energy. You you are saying, oh, okay, I am, you know, you you. if someone upsets you with, with what they say, right? Oh, you're this, you're that, you're whatever else, then you are believing it. You are saying, oh, you know, it's your shadow <laughs> that you, you know, you believe or you've taken that thing on you. You know, if no one can upset you or lower you or do anything. If unless you take that on as a belief, I'm used to this, I'm this, so you've, but you've taken it as a belief. All right. We've got to do the work. The work is not, the problem is not lying out there, it's within. This is what everyone doesn't realize. Okay. Morning. So, okay, yeah. We do, okay. So, you've got to do that. That'll help you a lot. All right. Stop taking on. You've taken on that belief, that shame, the guilt, because you haven't. It's a shadow. It's shadow work or healing you haven't done. That's all it is. So, take back. Give back other people's energy. I hereby give back all energy that I have taken on that wasn't mine to take. Okay, all anger, hurt, suffering, grief, pain, whatever, of others. Okay. I hereby give back all energy I've taken on that wasn't mine to take. I am sorry for taking her energy. It wasn't mine to take. I hereby give it back. Always with love. Okay. And any lesson you've learned, whatever healing, whatever you're releasing, anger, grief, fear, whatever incident or what's a specific thing, you have learned that lesson. I thank, I thank you for the lesson. I hereby release all hurt, grief, pain, fear, whatever you're releasing. I hereby release that hurt, that pain, that thing. It no longer serves me, not for my highest good. I thank you for the lesson. Okay, now go. Whether you see it being pulled out into a ball, you can see all that energy, whatever that pain, if you found something that you are working with, right, that you are now having a problem with, an issue, a trauma, you're doing healing, shadow work. Whatever you've pinpointed, you can visualize that energy coming out as, as like dark, dense, say, like, like smoke. So you can breathe it out, right? And as you visualize, exhaling, see this, this like dark, dense, this like, Smoke, dark, okay, energy coming out. You're gonna, until it's out, you'll know. So you keep breathing it out. You see this dark, this energy that you're holding in you coming up and let it out. Breathe out. You'll see this dark cloud of it until it's all out. Whether you visualize, whether you're going to help yourself, bringing it all up, whatever that, you might have a lot of that, say hurt, pain, whatever in you. As a, you'll see it as a black glue and you're pulling it all up, pulling it up, get it into a ball, take it, release it, give it to be transmuted with it. You know, you're releasing it, letting it go. No longer serves me. You, you, you command it out of your vessel. Nothing can stay in your vessel unless you allow it. You command, you have to release that energy. Command it out. You no longer serve me. Get out. You do not want that, you know. You release it, not with anger, with fear. You are leasing it. Okay. Then the next one is the just things I'm going through. I made a video, but I'm not going to go into that. I made a video for people ages ago, which unfortunately was on a, a friend who's a very good psychic and a Kashuk reader and healer. And we did this mm, last year sometime when I started this channel to help people. And then I didn't have the YouTube, I couldn't do it direct to YouTube. So we did it on Fortune on her channel and then we tried to get it on her mind. We had so much problems and then her channel was taken down on YouTube and I lost it. So, <laughs> But that was purely on protection and why people have it and how this whole nonsense happens. Okay, but if you haven't got there. So we need to do this, people. All right. Very so it's fundamental things. Take back all energy that you have given out through this whole life. I have tons of it. From my, to you know, you've taken on so many other people's energy and hurt and pain and anger and this and that and projections. Give it back. It's theirs to take and transmute. Take back all your power you have given away to whatever it is, whether it's a being or whatever your consciousness you've manifested it as. Take back. Take back your energy. Take back your light. Take back your power. All right. Give back. Which, which is not yours to hang on to. 
release that hurt, that anger, that pain, whether you see it coming up, ask them, you know, angels, you take it from you, put it in a black ball, you see this goo, you pull it all out into one thing, wherever you see, if you feel a pain, you know, we scan, you scan, what's that? Where is that energy? Why is it stuck there? So you scan the body, ooh, all of a sudden I've got a pain here. So I say, Qigong people. I will repost that video on my, um, I'll reshare the video on my YouTube page to purge and tonify. That will clear dark, dense, and stuck energies in the physical vessel. Is there something there? Scan it. Why is it there? You've let it in. Why is it there? What does it represent? Get rid of it. All right. And that will do it. So there's also a Qigong one. You can protect your energy when you're finished. It zip closed to protect your energy field. All right. We need to do this. There was one other thing that I was given uh, for the collective. Gosh, now I'm trying to remember. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Let me ask again. Sorry, I've forgotten now. These are, these are fundamental and everyone's going to do it. Everyone's doing it. And when you finish people, you're going to jump. You'll see that. You're going through it now. Another thing that came to me last night. We're going through all these physical things. Tired. I mean, last night as well, I was awake for quite a long time. Hours again. I didn't sleep much. Um, and was sweating. We're going through physical. We're going through upgrades. The planet is. These massive spikes. So we're getting these big surges of energy. This is why we're getting this, like now this week. That's what happened. This is why you had the volcanic reaction. I mean, that's a huge spike and light that came into the planet to cause that kind of eruption. So this is what, what that big eruption is, is the same thing happening in you. So there's a massive eruption in darkness, people. You notice, I said this week, in us. That's coming up to be transmuted. Now, this came up in planet Earth as a massive volcano. Now, we're going to have more of this this year, huge spikes. So we're going to have these surges and bursts. All right, so now we've got it, we've transmuting collectively a lot of darkness. This is what's coming up. We need to release it. All right, from our consciousness, from our energy, from our field, in the collective, we're holding all this nonsense. All right, yeah, this is it. A lot of water, drink water. It's going to help us a lot at the moment to be out in nature. I don't care if you sit in your garden, you go sit in a park, you go sit in a beach, you go sit by a stream, a rock. On a tree stump, wherever if it's cold or not, get out in nature. Breathe. Very important now to breathe. All right, breathe. And we need to watch our breathing. Center and ground up. When you meditate as well, breathe. You can breathe in the light. And I've and I've done a video. Go look at my YouTube video, which helps you pull in light. Breathe in that light. It's like when you can do like qigong when you meditate. Pull it in if you need it into your dantian. You see it and expand that light. So you can do that qigong as well in a form of meditation. Sit there and expand. Like see a ball of light in your navel chakra or your sacrum, right? And you're going to expand that, expand that, expand that. You can pull in life force energy. Those that your low of life force energy, harvest, pull in life force, qi energy into this vessel. Okay. Sit and consciously pull in as much life force energy as you need into this vessel. So all of these things you can do right now, okay? But do know, we're going to have this and then we're going to have like these. I can see it. What I was also, what came to me now last night was this is why we're doing it. We're going to transmit, but we are going to jump up. And I've seen this. When we've done some really heavy times like this, when we've done lots of healing, purging, or oh, shadows, we're feeling tired, our body is recalibrating. I've noticed that. So we're, going, we're getting an upgrade. This is part of an upgrade, and when this upgrade is finished, you're going to see you're going to be jumped up to a new notch, a new level. So you will see your abilities, your frequency, vibration, dimension, and consciousness is going to jump up a level. If you are doing your work, and you are feeling this at the moment, we're all having, oh, whatever, you're going through, okay. This is what it's doing, it's freeing you. We jump, it's notching you up as a level, as, as individuals, as beings, as We've got to do our personal clearing to put us into our, our highest, the higher version and higher timeline, a higher dimension, a higher frequency, a higher consciousness version of you. So it's trying to release and clear all things that are not, you know, that are lower versions of you. All right, that are holding you back, down, all kinds of nonsense. Yeah, 
Well, this is why, yes, what I'm saying, you're feeling fatigued. I mean, we're going through this. We're going through, my poor, my four cells are being vibrated like, you know, I'm, I might as well be a vib like a vibrating machine. <laughs> So people think you are strange when you tell them. I can tap in and feel my cells going. Zzzz. So I can actually feel the cells in my body, certain parts, especially when I see my lower, my legs, I've been going. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it's so strange. So, yep. And what I'm feeling, and I've been to this before, is that we are recalibrating. We are getting an upgrade. So physically, we're obviously getting more DNA activated, more light. This is what's happening. Cells. We're getting, a, so that's probably activating more DNA, more light, more cells. All right. They're taking on more light. They're activating. They're going up in frequency, dimension, and consciousness. You will see when you've got through this, when we've got through this section, you're going to get, you'll notice. When you've cleared this, poof, all of a sudden, you're going to see your abilities, your consciousness, your, however it is, your consciousness, your abilities, your telepathic abilities, whatever they are, you're going to go up a notch. You are getting, we're going through an upgrade right now. And there's more of these to come. And there's some more planetary, we're going to have some, all right, this is, and I did make a video. I actually made a video about it last night on Facebook, very late last night, far into bed. Um, we're going to see some more earth, big earth, another big bang, really nasty earthquake, volcanic, another big volcanic bang probably and tsunami and things we're going to see some big events on the planet this year because of these energies so there are surges we're getting up woof, we're going to get this we're going to hit we're going to get these surges of clearing woof, dense and then it's up again so we're getting a little bit you're going to see an increase as i say in in uh, the awakening doesn't mean only on the spiritual level but they will wake up in consciousness all right so we call a spiritual awakening, a raising in consciousness, more love, more peace, more unity, da, 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 da. people being more discerning, being able to see their consciousness raising, they're not going to be, you know, yeah. So that will happen in, depending where you are, so you will be affected, so we're going to get a real, we, we are rising, but we're going to get these surges and spikes, so it's going to go, woof, heavy when we're going to get these, all right. So when that comes into the planet, as you notice, this is what it's doing to your physical vessel, Look what it did to that volcano. It has effect on Earth. So we, we're going to, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we got some fun this year. We're going to have some fun. But this is what it is. It's uh, also to bring us. We are going to see unity, collaboration, unity, oneness. Like I said, peace and oneness. This is what it's going to do. It's bring us closer together. Uh, it's going to, you know, collaborate, oneness. So you'll see that that in that behavioral change in the collective and humanity, more more um, a teamwork, collaboration, oneness, less competition, division. For you know, this is what it's. Yeah, the general. Yeah, you're going to people are going to want to seek to now reach out because we've always it's always been me, myself, I, and shut off, and it's been a very, we've. The collective, the ego is very individual, me, myself, I. It was the problem in the world, we saw ourselves as separate. Now you'll see there's less separation, the divide's coming. So you will see more seeking, people seeking to gather together, groups, communities, people, friendships, you know, group, whatever. Collaborate, work with each other, less sort of, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Food helps, um, but you can see, it's what I'm saying, you can see. Um, if you're going through this, fasting helps. Um, if you're transmuting a lot and you want to say you're having a battle or to cleanse the, the body, so you can also cleanse the physical vessel, fasting helps when you go through this. So whether you do a two-day water fast or just liquid, juice it. So try, depending on how, you know, if you practiced it, this or whatever. It's always difficult the first day or so, but it's not afterwards. So you can do, if you're going through this, but it'll help as well. Some people are fast. Okay. Water or liquid. If you're not managing, if you have struggled with water, then try and do a smoothie. You have a, a fruit, fruit or veg smoothie. All right. Once a day. That will give you, that will fall, you know, if you're not used to it. But that will help you as well. All right. Release stuff. Um, lighter. Okay. Cleanse as well. Energy. Well, you all are. Yes, we all are. 
But this is what's coming back to us. And everybody's abilities, telepathic, psychic, however, whatever your strengths, abilities, your, whatever you're seeking as well. Remember beliefs, people think, oh, I can't do that. Well, you can't do it. So all our abilities, our consciousness is going to go up a notch. All right, so you'll be more discerning. You'll be able to discern better. Your intuition, da, 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 all these things will improve. Wherever you are on your level, you're going to get a notch up. Okay, that's what's happening. Yeah, we're going to we're having a we're going to a big shift upgrade. I don't know. They go in stages, and they're saying at the moment we just had a we had a big whack. <laughs> so some we've been through last year, um, and then we're going to have some more of these really. Whew, so it's like a wow, a massive spike. Um, it's like it's trying to like really push up. It's like one big surge, woof, comes in light, right, it releases darkness. So this is what it is. Okay, but there we are. It's held in the collective consciousness, and Earth is doing Earth is doing the same thing. But people don't realize as within, so without. That's your mind. It's not bad things happen. It's showing you. It's, it's probably highlighting what, what needs to, what you need to look at. It's strong. It's a strong, um, maybe not for you. That's what I'm saying. Um, Moldavite, you know who likes Moldavite? He talks a lot about There's a, a Reiki guy. He's done his own. He's been doing it for years. He's Mark. I've, seen, I've explained. Uh, if you go right down my old videos, I think, crystals and stuff. Mark Bayeski. You'll find him on YouTube, and I think I've shared one of my videos um, about that. And he's a Moldavite crazy person. It's not for everybody, but it depends where you are. So nothing. It's just amplifying what's there for you to see, what you haven't seen or cleared, um, or you need to do. Stop saying that, because you will do. And that's a lack of light, yes. It's a light. And this is a problem with the so-called climate, with the climate change issue, trying to block out the sun with this geoengineering we're happening. That's happening. People are going to forget it's going to affect our melatonin because if we've got no direct sunlight, if they're forever blocking out the sun, it's going to have a very negative impact because every single thing on this planet re relies on photosynthesis to survive, especially our coral reefs majorly. Same with your plants. You can put your plant inside. It's getting lots of light like now. It's constantly we have gray skies, cloudy or gray skies. This is geoengineering. But there's no direct sunlight. Folks, and that I know because I had corals and I had uh, live corals and things in my house. I had to get a special mass of light that imitated actual direct sunlight. All my corals died. So it's very important sunlight for us, for our vitamin D, for our melatonin, for us to be able to sleep. Now, if we're not getting any enough direct sunlight every day, there's no sunlight in your retina, in your eyes, how's your body producing melatonin? To, so we're sleeping. So as you notice, sleeping is a problem, never mind the energies, because our body's not producing melatonin like it should, because we've got interference, Wi-Fi, blue screens, LED lights, all the blue light has a problem. Okay, it stops, it blocks the melatonin. That is the part that helps actually free radical, healing the body, and sleep. So ultra, um, is it ultraviolet light, the red light? Infrared or ultraviolet light, it's red light, whatever red light is, I can't remember. Infrared lights, I think it's infrared light. Infrared light, if you have infrared light in your room, some kind of infrared light, that actually stimulates, it's like the sun, I suppose, the melatonin in, in the system, in the body. So for us to compensate for the lack of sunlight we're getting every day, because we're not getting 10 minutes, our body is not, you know, we're having a problem, it's going to put your sleeping and everything. It's going to do... We're going to have serious consequences to the planet, which they have not thought of, or they are just ignoring, or whatever. But we, are, we can't do that, yeah. So, I think it's infrared. So, infrared can uh, be an alternative to for, for the sun, for melatonin, for you, all right? So, get some sort of infrared thing in your bedroom, above your bed, or next to you, but some kind of light thing, laser thing, therapy you can use. And that should stimulate and help with the melatonin for sleep. All right. Uh, that I learned recently was interesting. All right. Drink a lot of water. If you're like me, like I've dehydrated. Oh, you can't believe it when they when this is going on. Because I say the cells. I mean, they're shedding. I've lo I lose so much water. Wow, it's bad. I'm dehydrating. Horrendously. I sweat like a mad person. 
so when we have these spikes i'll have that and then it's fine again for a while then all of a sudden i'll have a few days where it's just crazy so a lot of water um try lay off the food then lighter food so try and do pure fruit vegetables if you're not juice it or pure water it depends on you um and also it's all your thought our body doesn't need food anyway because we're not we're not using our own energy so if your energy is low if your chi and you're not life force is low and your actual light in your physical vessel you will need more food because you're getting food you're getting light and energy from the external where you actually don't need it pull in that life force energy and light okay increase it in your in your energy field vessel and you will see you'll need less food too so when you're busy with this clearing and thing try fasting it helps as well all right but then, yeah, just water or pure, clear, you know. You can also put crystals, put intention in your water. Bless your food and water to increase the frequency and vibration. So sit there and send energy, love, healing, and, you know, gratitude into the water. Send that energy into your water. And you can actually keep that same. You can, And then you can keep filling it up, but you can just keep so much water in it. It's got memory. As the Japanese, I can't remember his name, you can never pronounce his name again, that book on the water. So if you work, say you want to keep a glass of water, glass, don't use bottles and plastic then, you know, pour it out, clean water, whatever water, even if you haven't got tap water, right? Bless it. Put energy into that water. Put it in a glass and, and you can put, if you want lemon, a bit of herb, rosemary in it, whatever you want in it. You're going to focus your energy and you're going to intentionally send love, gratitude, and, and, and healing to that water do that for a while do that for a while okay and then send it into your water then you are going to drink that water but you're never going to let it get too empty because you want to top it up say with some more you're going to drink need more keep a bit in there because that energy that memory is in the water so you keep chopping it up that same love and healing that same frequency is in the water okay that's when you do it to river there we are people now i'd like to go and shower <laughs> Still, I'm still in my pajamas because I had eight dead and I'm doing this meditation and doing that and whatever. Um, and then getting this, I could tell you. Yeah, if you don't, if it depends when you are, as I'm saying, on your journey, these are your own shadows. What what you're fighting when you when you are in the psycho demonic attacks and things, you're still at the ego. These are all the egos, shadows, illusions, fear, paranoia, da, 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 and things that manifested. This is in that lower, it's a lower consciousness. It's a lower dimension or realm, whatever. Oh, that's what I was going to tell you, the final thing. Yeah, stop focusing on it, say I'm not. Start doing affirmations and say I'm not depressed. I am happy. Okay, I am these embodying it. Claim it. I've just done something I've already gone through. You can do what I've just explained now. You can go to my video there. There's some good affirmations. I am happy. I am love. I am peace. You, whatever affirmations you want to embody, start being that, calling it in, claiming it. Release whatever that nonsense is, belief thing. I am a depressed. Why are you attaching to that? You, if you're saying I'm depressed, you're saying, oh, that's been, yeah, you're attaching to that belief and energy. Let it go. Because your belief you are, you want, you want to hold on to that energy, then you will hold on to it. It's energy. Let go of that energy. That's a low energy, low frequency and vibration. You don't want to attach to it. I am sad. I am this. No, 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 no. Those are all low, dark, dense energies. Words, thoughts have energy, a frequency and vibration. Everything has a frequency and vibration. Don't use words and don't hold those thoughts that have low frequencies and vibrations because it's going to lower you. Okay, the last one. Sorry, that's what I forgot. <laughs> which I was going to tell you this is a this was a collective this is for the collective right so those ones I went over claim back your power pull back your light your energy boost your frequency vibration and life force next is clear everything that is not that's in a lower um, vibration and frequency and timeline of yourself so you want to embody the highest version of you all right, so now you are going to release, okay, all versions of you, lower energies, frequencies, consciousness, timelines, dimensions, versions of you throughout all time, space, 
continuum, dimensions and consciousness. Release. I hereby release all versions of me that are not in alignment with my high, okay? You're going to release everything. It is not in alignment with the highest version of you. The highest frequency, consciousness, timeline, whatever of you. You're going to release them throughout all consciousness, frequency, dimensions, and energy. You're going to release it. So you want to embody the highest version of you that's in the highest frequency, consciousness, dimension, energy, and vibration. Release all that isn't. Okay, so I hereby release all versions of me that are, do, that are not in alignment with, with the highest version of me. Pure source, pure light, pure magnificence. Okay, in, you are a part of the creative source. You want to embody that fractal. You want to be the highest version of you possible. The highest light frequency and vibration that embodies as close as possible to the divine source or to that which you are. So the highest aspect of you, right? The highest version, aspect, fractal of you. You now release everything and anything that is not the highest aspect, fractal, and version of you as a divine source, part of source energy. I am releasing it. Anything that is not embodied and aligned with the highest frequency, vibration, fractal, and version of me. Right, there we are. This is what's happening in the collective now, but 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 that's 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 okay, that's a good one. Here we are. I haven't this filter, um I don't know, it's not showing on here. <laughs> I don't know which filter it is. I love them. I'm having such fun with them. At my age it's bloody fun. I actually want to do the you know the animated ones. Uh, I love animated forms. I always have, even for an old person. Basically bordering, you know, uh yeah, we let's not go there. <laughs> But I still love them, like Avatar, like um, or Ice Age. I've always loved those things. I love them. So I would love to do, you know, the animated uh, cartoon. You uh, you get those ones. I don't know where you get them from. You get live, you know, where you can actually, instead of having this, that you, you know, whatever, different apps, you can be, say, I don't know, you know, one of these cartoon, like a Disney cartoon animated version. <laughs> I'd like to do that. I would like to play with that. That would be fun. So that one I'd like to do. Yeah, these are fun to play with sometimes. I'm enjoying them. You know, we didn't have these, remember? I mean, people basically, I'm bordering 60. <laughs> we didn't have cell phones. <laughs> we had a computer that sounded like a brick. And it had a, I mean, it was crazy when I grew up. Um, I even remember those wind-up phones. We had phones and you had a phone exchange. You'd have to, it looked like a box with a handle that you could turn it and crank it up. And you have to ask them to connect. Like you're oh, you have it's hilarious. It compares what I'm saying. <laughs> oh boy, people that are in the younger generation have no clue. I mean, the leaps and bounds, and you have and wait and see, because remember this huge boost in evolution in human consciousness. We are rising to a higher level of consciousness, frequency, and vibration. We're tapping into. I mean, then the quantum. So you can so your level, what you think your intelligence is, your human mind isn't this is is nothing. It hasn't. That's not where your real intelligence and IQ lies. It's actually there. So you, if you tap and you start tapping into the now moment, the quantum field, all information, all knowledge, everything is known. Like Tesla, how did Tesla's come? It's channeling. It comes in, right? It comes in from higher levels. Can you imagine the, the breakthroughs and jumps we're going to see in our, in our society as humans? And if we're going to see massive. We're going to take leaps and bounds in our evolution, in our technology, in our abilities, in our uh, inventions. I mean, free, it already has. People have already had got the free, but it's been, it's been patented and shelved by a company. I did mention that. There's a few things. Yeah, they're blocking these things. There's plenty free energy, free, cheap, easy energy. We'll have a non-supply, no even clean, clean, non-supply of absolute clean energy. It costs nothing. Same with water. But this has been blocked and suppressed by companies. You know, they don't want to lose money. They, if someone gets it, they buy the patent and shelve it. So we have to learn from that. People must stop selling these patents or putting them out there, you know. Um, yeah. 
because they're tempted by money. You see, that's what I'm saying. It's our consciousness. It won't change until we change our consciousness. Yeah, the filter, the fun. Yeah. Well, you're still young, 51. Hell, I wouldn't mind being 51. <laughs> it was nice. <laughs> oh, it was a lot better. After you, once you go 55, well, you'll see. It depends. But it also depends on your on your how you've your life, your stress, your energy, what you know, whatever in the body. How much dark turns energy, trauma you've taken on, all the things. This this vessel took a pummeling. I mean, wow, the damage I did, the amount of my the nervous system. The oh, this poor vessel, this yeah, and the reason why I basically had a near death last year. It was my timeline, a karmic timeline to leave because I this body had uh, taken more than you know the whole <laughs> energy. Then, so basically, that was the end of me. Boof, you know, couldn't take anymore. But then, as I say, because of this, I have now I jumped, I managed to yeah, avert that. But yeah, there's a lot of damage done. It was done to this vessel. Wow, immense, immense amount of damage. So a lot. Anyway, that was one of those things. Lessons to overcome, huge trauma, huge fear, huge dark, dense energy. And, and yeah, all that kind of nonsense. And learning not to hang on to that. Um, so yeah, there we are. All right, lovely people. Okay, pull in the highest. In, do all that clearing, centering, and then, then you claim the highest aspect, fractal of yourself. The highest, highest version, aspect, fractal of yourself, and you're going to collapse all of those other ones. Timelines, dimensions, consciousness, versions, frequencies, vibrations are not in line with that. All right, you're magnificent, you're the highest frequency, light, you know, version of source that you are. Love you guys. My throat is, I, I need to drink Oh yeah, there we are. I hope that helped and I'll put it up onto YouTube and I'll see if my friend is able to do a quick one where we can do a healing and clearing. Um, all right. Yeah, they're fun. I, I want an animated filter now. Just for some fun. <laughs> I'm playing. I love to play with them. To move pain? What pain? Um... Just try and make, could you, Tiffany, uh, what, just make it, just, you know, I'm not understanding your question. Could you ask me, make it, make it a bit more detailed? Uh, I'm not quite sure. Uh, so I couldn't really answer you. Trauma in the body. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, it's held in the body. Oh, my gosh. And my body knows this one. The damage that was done to this body. And doctors used to warn me <laughs> because of my job. I used to go in there with problems and heart issues, and, that's, and I look at it, they go, okay, I've got heart problems. They'd say, no, it's stress, you need to change jobs, you need stress, you need... To. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, but it's my job, you know. <laughs> they warn me, stress, stress, stress. Oh, I had so many warnings. Lots of problems. And I accumulated a massive amount of trauma in this body, because we fear, we run away, we try and block, instead of feeling the emotions. You see, when that pain comes up, we try and block it. I shared it, there's something that will help you about dealing with those emotions. And this is a mistake we make because that's why you've got trauma in the body, right? Go to my YouTube page. Now, for some reason, you know, they're always upgrading YouTube and all these. They're constantly upgrading their damn apps. So the other day, when you, if you go to my page and subscribe to follow my YouTube channel, I share content and videos from other people, other channels which are useful, that you need to know, whether it's about astrology or that's about whatever, the spiritual path, the healing, clearing, the ego, the shadow work, all that nonsense, anything that's in that, in that way. The, the man that just passed away, Thich Nhat Hanh, which is the, he was a Plum Village, a Buddhist monk, very well-known Buddhist monk, he did a lot of work and peace. He just passed away. They're actually doing a, a ceremony, his ceremony now, live, they were this morning, to honor him, the monks at the at that village. So he shared a talk, talking about this, dealing with, in, with, with very strong emotions what we are doing wrong and he explains how to deal with them all right that's why those are in the body so now that trauma that's stored in the body it's the same as i explain now whatever situation each piece is and there's many of them you've held on to depending i don't know so there are aspects of it you need to delve in and you're going to have to release all of them so we, whatever that, whatever, you'll go back to that trauma, where, where's that hurt? You do it in a meditation, transcendental state, or you do it through a past life regression. 
all right and you can release that energy that's stuck there that fear there's hurt there's shame the guilt the anger the whatever nonsense okay you got to see what it is and why because you have to learn the lesson why did you take it on what did you what was it trying to teach you you didn't learn that's why you took it on you see yes Claim that back. That's something. You see that energy was trying to tell you something that you didn't hear look clear. you got to see what it is. Yes. So, yeah, okay, you got to see what, why. What was, what's the, what's the energy? There's an emotion, healing trauma, which has caused, that caused the cancer. Sometimes it's carried through from a past life. So people in this, in this thing, yeah, go and have a look at that Thich Nhat Hanh's video I shared yesterday on my YouTube panel about, about this dealing with it and processing so we don't make the mistake again very intense energy which is serious grief pain emotion fear whatever you know those very wise talk he gave i've shared it in, in honor of his yeah okay sorry the cancer story my mother died of cancer oh many my grandmother died of it right going back into their cash and into their life and the energy i warned her 10 years before that she didn't she didn't let go she was going to accumulate this what it was, what it was, was she had had some trauma. Wow, probably maybe she had karma. She she had really started in this life, so she had some really, and she hadn't dealt with it and hadn't let it go, hadn't healed, hadn't any of that energy. Hung on to that energy, and what it does, it's it's, it's really dark, really bad energy, heavy energy, and it festers. That energy, you know, it like sits there, and that's what yeah. This is the root of her. Um, was the cause? Is is always a cause for it. It's energy, it's, it's intense, it's emotion stuck somewhere. So, um, no, but I know people that do, you can go and see. All right, so you can go through a good past life regression. Go to, um, Amanda, go to YouTube. It's a lovely lady, she's in New Zealand. This, this can be done remotely as well. I don't know why I'm recalled to tell you her, but there, maybe there's a reason. You'll see if you resonate. Go to YouTube, type in the name Jill. Cole, I think I should actually, if you go to my YouTube page, on my TikTok, under my profile, you'll see there's a link, and there's also a link tree which takes you to my Facebook, all those, to my YouTube, go to my YouTube page, I shared a video from a woman called Jill Cole, now she has done QHHT, Dolores Cannon's quantum healing thing, whatever, you know, clearing thing, she does past life regressions for people. She also channels, um, she channels Jesus, one of her channels. She does a lot of channeling. Go to her, under her videos on her page or YouTube channel about her, she's got her email address. Write to her and ask her for a past life regression to healing, to go specifically also to channel. What is the cause of this cancer, where it comes from, and you can release that. You can be cured from it, you believe me. People can be like spontaneous remission, and it's happened many times in doctors, people with cancer, but it's a spontaneous thing. You have to be willing and aligned with it, really want it, heart and mind connection. You mean it from your heart. It's not your choice to have left this way. You have to actually write, I don't want this. I am now claiming my power back, and you're going to release that and claim that healing. Absolutely can. If you mean it from your heart, you can actually be. So you can ask for that to find out what the energy was, where it comes from, what caused that. And if you really are believe it and aligned with it and ask for that healing and clearing, whatever in that thing as well. Whatever we get from a not sure, you can find out about it, what it is, why, you know, what was chosen, why. And then you can also, there's a, a good um, Akashic record reader and that can do a healing and clearing and find out possibly they'll tell you why, where it comes from, whatever, is there anything what call I'm not sure. You can also do that. Sandy Cornelius. Um, I've shared her. She's hardly on here because she doesn't really use this app. She's got a page, but she's never on here. She doesn't really use it. Um, I think I shared her details. Even her page might give you her email, her email address. She's based in Australia, Sandy Cornelius. So Rita on Ontario as well. She's on here. I think I've shared her stuff. All right. But they will do just Akashic Records and reading. So they'll tap into your guys and tell you, oh, okay, let's see what, they, what, you got, what they're allowed to share with you. But the best is their past life regression. Try and see if Jill Cole will do it for you. All right. I'm sure she might. 
she's got a few and if she doesn't she'll pass you on to someone good I've got a feeling for you you should try her all right there we are and go and seek that all right my mother released hers on her deathbed actually well a week before she died did we find out with the shock where that what what was the cause of all that wow it was quite a an eye-opener for all of us who knew nothing about this she had, she had suppressed that her entire life you're welcome and it was a hell of a shock she had hung on to some horrendous shit and we didn't even know i was like oh my gosh wow that's quite a revelation um that it happened yeah serious trauma and and hurt that she had buried wow and lack of forgiveness she See, if we, if we won't let energy move through us, we, like me, it caused me to have a basically a heart attack and leave the planet last year. <laughs> I was like, say this, I had a trial run. It was like a, it was like my time to go, but I didn't go. So it was like a, I go, I did like, uh, I had to go through it, but then I could skip it. It was like I jumped that timeline. So I went through it, sort of, okay, phew, this is, was, is how I was meant to die, but I'm not going to die. So there we are. It was like back again. And that was because of all that trauma and stuff I'd hung on to. Wow, I had serious trauma buried in this vessel. <laughs> and it yeah, damaged. I damaged this poor body and whatever. Anyway, there we are because all of that. I've manifested this. See, from suppressing, not speaking, from, from not letting that hurt, from holding in that anger, that hurt, not voicing it, not letting it out. I suppressed this. There we are. Oh, you're welcome. It'll really give you a lot of freedom. And, and you need to, I think. There's answers in your soul. Because your soul will answer it for you. Your higher self will tell you. And she's, yeah, she's, she, I feel she has the right energy for you. All right. Okay, Amanda. It'll give you peace. Amazing peace. All right, beautiful souls. There we are. It's a lesson for us, okay. I learned, I've done some good clearing yesterday. I did one yesterday. You know, it might take a day or so to realize something upset you, like something upset me. And it's something that's been happening in my life for, you know, I've been doing it and doing it and doing it. And it came up again yesterday. And, oh, you know, because I hadn't cleared it. I hadn't, you know, this kept happening. And I was like, okay, I need to let this go. And I was shown what it is I need to let go. It's fear, but you just, you didn't realize why. You just didn't let go of the fear. You see, so I let it happen. Okay, no, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm letting it go. And wow, it was like freedom. It gave me such a relief of freedom. Yeah, that's it. It manifests in many ways you don't want to know. You're suppressing exactly. We're not, it, instead of saying, you know, I'm not happy or I hurt or it's like, you know, I'm not allowing people. We are weak as we allow it. We're allowing people to suppress us, to hurt us, to, we're not speaking out. We're not saying, we're not setting our boundaries. We're not... This is what it was, you see. It was a lesson. And then if we don't forgive ourselves and forgive those people, well, that's bad energy hanging on to. We need to do the forgiveness. Because what I was shown when this whole thing was, was why I went through all this trauma. And I mean, some really bad, nasty things, you know. And you're like, wow, you know, why did I pick? Why do I, you know, you think you're, you think you're a magnet to nasty things, right? Or really dark people. So why, you know, why do they sort of find you out? Because you are. That's until you learn the lesson. You're playing a victim. As long as you're transmitting victim, all oh, predators are going to find you, you see. But what I didn't realize is that I, when I, when I was shown my life, right, and I was shown this, I was not a victim. <laughs> but I chose that. In some circumstances, you're choosing it because you're trying to show the darkness that you, you're giving light. You're trying to... Someone is lost in darkness. You're showing love. You're giving them light. You're giving them love. You are, you know what I mean? You're letting them... Um, some of that, you are, you're transmuting it or you're you know, helping or you're trying to. There's all kinds of reasons, actually. It was strange. I was showing these things. And when I was shown it, I, I was dumbfounded. I actually started laughing. I, I was dumbfounded. I, was, I couldn't believe it. It was such a freedom to realize, wow, okay, that happened to me. No, I chose that. You chose it to help guide or whatever it was. I can't remember anyway. But it was like, oh, my gosh. You absolutely, and it's for a divine purpose. All right. It's never for a bad thing. It's always for a good thing. And I was like, oh, good Lord. That sets you free. All right. You need to know why. 
And then you're like, oh my gosh, no, you chose that to happen to you. You just don't know why, and that's the thing. Because if we don't let go of the anger and hurt and grief or whatever it caused us, we won't know, we won't see, and we're holding ourselves in that energy. Yeah, the truth. It can manifest even your teeth. Problems, wow, well, if you don't let go, yeah, wow. Well. And cancer, yeah. Grief, guilt, shame, whatever. Some serious energy that we're holding on to. Not forgiving. Um, my grand died of cancer as well. <laughs> yeah. They had some real nasty shit in, the, in my family in the ancestry line, to be cleared. Wow, there was some heavy. So, of course, when you come in, you're picking it up as well. That karma and that thing. Wow. So, I had one hell of an interesting karmic journey, life stuff to clear, <laughs> ancestral dark. Wow, to transmute this, this life. Woo. Yeah, a lot. And you will see it will carry on. If you don't transmute it and heal it, it carries on to your children. See, we're clearing that whole lineage. You're clearing, you're setting. What we do, the healing, what we fix in ourselves, we're setting the collective. So the collective darkness, more light. So as a light, the collective, the shadow that we're seeing out there, that we think, oh my gosh, it's this evil that's going on out there. No, every one of us that does our healing, forgiveness, clearing, that that's we are dissolving the actual all the darkness and you are letting yourself free your versions your ancestors the other versions of you as all of the truth so you're letting so you're also clearing all those other timelines and dimensions the work you're doing you see and you're setting your ancestors and your parents that even passed away free all right from their karma whatever lessons they taught you so you forgive them they forgive you and wow you're breaking that cycle, that karmic cycle and trap. Yeah. All right. You're so very welcome. You're so very welcome. But sometimes it takes us leaving the planet or almost dying to realize, you know, it was like, wow. Um, anyway. <laughs> but then there's lessons, you see. We can help others. We can help others. So those lessons, can, I can talk from, from that experience. Because I am now able to know what it's like and wow, and understand it and see it and because I went through it. So you all that, what I also I learned is that all that suffering, all that pain taught us massive compassion and empathy. So I can put myself in that person's shoes. I see and I understand what they're going through, the pain, the suffering, the fear, the transmuting. How, and I can also tell them how you can get rid of it and you are able to overcome it. You see, because you've done it. There we are. All right. Really, I need, I need to go now. <laughs> Have some tea. But all right, lovely people. I hope that helped whoever has ever meant to be here. It was meant to be here, and it will help you. And there we are. And if you go through my videos, I'm sure there's other ones that, depending on where you are, that will help you. There's different levels for you that are, those of you that are fighting real dark things, the demonic. There's a video there for you because I went through that. You see, we've all had to climb up through those levels of consciousness and and ego and shadow and. And go through those. All right. So there's different ones on there. There's one about forgiveness, about death, dying, anyone suffering from grief, death. There's one all about that. What we do wrong. Okay. We need to let those people go as well because they, uh, a lot of some people's energies they don't realize it's because they haven't let them go. They're sitting with that energy. You've got to let your loved ones that have passed move on. Set them free. Tell them it's okay to go. Please leave. Leave. I'm fine. Most people don't realize they're still hanging around because you didn't let them go. You're still angry. You still miss them. You're still upset. You need to let them go. So there's a video there about death, dying, and about letting your loved ones go, about forgiveness, about the demonic realm, all these things that will help you, okay, that were given to me to help, you know, for the collective. All right. Bye, people.